I'm here with Steve O'Rourke and he's going to tell us a bit about the London Bus Workers campaign. Steve, what's happening at the moment with the campaign? Uh, well, we're, we're currently planning our next set of moves. As you know, it's a, um, an ongoing campaign that's been running there for quite a few re years. Originally starting with the, um, apparently with the underground claim, which was possibly setting our sights a little high. Now, it's all about parity across London. What do you mean the underground claim? What, can you be more specific? Some people watching this don't really know what the issues are. What, what are yeah, the about, issues? About seven years ago when we first started up a London-wide campaign, we were kind of saying our aim was to get parity with the underground on pay. So we'd be on there 30 or grand a year. Of course, that was a little unrealistic because we had companies on 20, 22, 23 grand. You're not going to get a 10 grand rise. Now, obviously, things are different and we're now on about one rate of pay for the job. So a bus driver gets paid if he drives a TfL room, a bus driver's rate of pay, be that £15 an hour, it would be £15 an hour everywhere. So you're saying at the moment, uh, all the bus drivers are on different rates of pay, yeah? Yeah, there are huge disparities between one company and another. You know, the bottom being about 20 grand and the top being just over 30 grand. And, and they're all doing the same job in the same city and ultimately the money comes from the same source, TfL. So all really you're asking for is that equal pay for equal work? Exactly, equal pay for equal work. We're all the same, we're no different. You know, you'll get paid according to the amount of profit your company makes, you know. We, when we've got people on £10 an hour and others on £13 an hour, and the only difference is the amount of money that the employers want to make, you know, they want to keep the shareholders sweet, and it's kind of bugger the workforce. And you've had like demonstrations about this in the past to highlight this uh, disparity, have you? We've had demonstrations in the past. I mean, you know yourself, Kenny, you attended one at Marble Arch, it was quite successful. You know, I believe you, you and um, Brother Murphy were showing your backsides to the uh, to the national press. Um, yeah, and, and there will be more demos to follow this year, along with a leafleting campaign on bus stands and the likes of, so that all drivers are aware of what the London bus campaign is about and why they need to be on board. Well, that sounds very positive, Steve. Thanks for giving us a few moments of your time. Thanks very much. Oh, you're welcome, Kenny. Anytime. Oh, I'm here with John Murphy. He does a lot of things for the union. Uh, I believe he's currently working on a change to the constitution on the executive. Is that right, John? What's going on with that? Well, yeah, President, um, uh, one of my roles in the union is uh, a seat as uh, territorial representative for our, local, our region, which is London and Eastern. Um, as part of the role, Obviously what I have to do is make sure that the union, the merger, etc. Um, carries on and the union continues in the purpose it's intended to, which is a lay-led union. Um, an important part of any lay-led structure is the constituencies um, that prop up that um, structure. And right now we are midway through um, organising this. Uh, I say midway through, we should be coming close to the end now. With a proposal, hopefully to take to the rules conference um, in June, I believe. And what does it uh, what does it consist of? What is that? Do you do just to look at all the, the present constitution, or what are you looking at to, to change well, the merger? What, what would be and what's merging? What's merging? Right. Like people watching, they don't understand what mergers are about, etc. What could you break it down to us in layman's terms? What, no what the merger is. Um, several a couple of years back, um, two of the biggest unions in the country. The Transport General Workers Union and Amicus um, come together. I don't know if merger is the right word, it's been described as a, the formation of a new union and as a consequence we now are the biggest union in the country. With size comes power. Now things don't just run themselves and the union for all intent and purpose um, works in a similar style to a business however whereas the business is run by the managing director downwards. Um, the union tends to, uh, runs from the top, uh, from the bottom upwards, sorry. So the lay, the lay members are the most important people here. For all intent and purpose, everyone who pays membership is a shareholder of the trade union. So they are the bosses. Now, to make sure that these people drive the union in the right direction, like I said before, we have to have structures in place. So we've now got two of the biggest unions joined together to make the biggest union in the country by a long shot. Um, but when we first come together, there was talk of just short of two million members. Now, like I said, as a consequence, everything has to be spread out into some sectors so that the business is manageable. The constituencies that we're um, forming now, hopefully, will deliver this structure and the union that the members deserve, a labour union.
Well, that sounds like a, a big task. And how long do you think it's going to take? And are you near completion now? Well, we're very close. To, for me, we should be very close to the end of. Um, we are going, like I said, we're going to have a rules conference where the proposals for the new General Executive Council will be set um, up. Um, we're also going to have several policy conferences where we can actually decide the policy of the union. We're going to have a general secretary's election at the end of the year, which will give us one general secretary rather than two. So we'll have a new executive, a new general secretary, which will be representative of our new union. Well, that sounds fa wonderful. Thanks for your time and uh, all the best at this conference here. Yeah? My pleasure. Thank you.